Hello peoples, welcome to the sudden final episode of the Dungeon Progression Challenge series. It seems I have some explaining it to do, obviously. First, if anyone is still curious after all this time, the rules of the Dungeon Progression Challenge are in the description. So thanks to the announcement of the Legion pre-patch for July 19th, I had to step up the pace of the series by quite a bit. Since I only had this week of lockouts to do raids and I wanted to get as far as I could, I had to opt for 10 man difficulty since I'm certain that some bosses on 25 normal, Heroic can be difficult even in max level gear. Normal and heroic, I should say. So they'd most likely not be doable in dungeon progression challenge gear. And I don't want to get saved to that. Uh, what I've chosen to do in order to really speed this up is to go through everything I have left to do. Maybe record it all, maybe not. But I will be showing only the encounters that posed a challenge. Even if such cases require multiple attempts, I'll only be showing the successful attempt. Last episode ended with 10-man Ulduar, 25-man Eye of Eternity. Since then I've run the Heroic Frozen Halls dungeons and all other Wrath of Ledge King raids on 10-man Heroic Difficulty. I think it was Heroic, I can't remember what I did in Ruby Sanctum. Anyways, well then I did the Cataclysm dungeons and on Heroic Difficulty as well, as well as Zulgarub and Zulaman. So, all I really have left is all the Cataclysm raids and the Hour of Twilight dungeons. If there's no real trouble, I'll at least show Dragon Soul. Speaking of Dragon Soul, there's a bit of a loophole where I can run the LFR version and then the 10 man heroic version. LFR only locks you out of loot after the first attempt and not bosses, so yay. Plus, it will help me out with clearing the most, supposedly, challenging part of the dungeon progression challenge. Alright, I better get started before I use up all my time talking about this. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, what are the odds? The mount drops. Now in Cataclysm, as well as Wrath, what I didn't notice in Wrath, you can buy tier gear for gold, and at, th at the time when it was current, it was Valor or Justice. So in this case, for Dungeon Progression Challenge, maybe I'll allow myself to buy it after clearing that tier of raids. Or maybe lim limit myself to one or two pieces when I clear one of those raids, like Blackwing Descent drops a few pieces, and Throne of Four Winds I think drops one, Bastion of Twilight might drop some? Or maybe none at all. Drops shoulder, so yeah, there you go. I could do that. So, turn of four wins. I got head and shoulder? Sure, I can pick out one of those if it is an upgrade. Blackwing Descent. Yeesh, that was close. Hmm. The lava went down, despite me not having defeated the... Whatever they're called. Chromatic prototypes. Okay, I'll take it. Now, hopefully, I can stay alive, and these guys spamming Blast Nova won't kill me. Only problem is the skeletal bone constructs. They increase their damage done over time and pretty much unkillable when soloing. I also gotta keep an eye on my health so that I can hit Nefarian with, with a pretty large hitting attack, heavy hitting attack, once the second wind kicks in. Like Stormbolt. There we go. Back up to 69% health. And I have died by the sword if needed which I am saving in case the bone constructs get out of hand. Yes. Challenging, but doable. Hmm. 
Hmm, what was that now? Blackout, 59,000. I might have to time my second win for that. Okay, this time I'm using Commanding Shout to increase my health pool. I'll use Defensive Stance once it hits. And Die by the Sword once it hits. And maybe even Rallying Cry if I feel like it. Nuts. How much did it do? 48,000. This is pretty much half my health pool. Well, hmm. Seems to be the only thing keeping me from winning so far. I will reevaluate and try again. Didn't take much of a good look at what else I can do, but I did see that I can also use Shield Barrier. Nuts. Okay, this time I'll start with Battle Stance and go to Defensive Stance only for Blackout. Because I need to do a lot more damage to kill Valuna before the second Blackout. Also, if this doesn't work, I have two Glyphs that I can go buy and try out, which should increase my healing and survivability. I got no cooldowns. Whoa. That hit pretty fast. What was it? That can, couldn't have been Blackout? I looked at the footage and Blackout can also deal its effect when it's removed by any means. Healing it off, having it dispelled, uh, removing it through immunities, or just letting it expire. So yeah, I killed myself with Bloodthirst heals, or maybe my second wind talent. So the two glyphs I got was Rallying Cry and Raging Blow. If Raging Blow critical strikes a single target, then my next Bloodthirst heals for three times as much, and Rallying Cry while it's active gives me 20% leech. So it increases my healing while it's up, while it doesn't actually give me an actual extra cooldown or anything. Yeah, I didn't use Rallying Cry there. How much did it hit me for? 44,000. So Die by the Sword helped. Overkill. I had about 50,000 left. This low health pool is really hurting me. Alright, this time I'm going to do exactly what I did in my most successful attempt, which got Valuna down to about 26%. That was pretty successful. And as for Blackout, I have no idea what I'm going to do when the second one comes around. Jeez, something killed me fast there. I think I was healed to death. The heal removed Blackout early. I thought I had a half second or two to hit Shield Barrier. So what happened? My leech healed me for 927. About 7,000 absorb. Yeah, so there it is. Leech was active from Rallying Cry, I bet. So the Glyph did more harm than good. Hmm, interesting. This is working out pretty good, actually. I definitely would not be able to do this on 25, man. Blah. 60,000? There's no way I can deal with that. Well, that's plenty of attempts in. I'm gonna call it there. I don't think I'll be able to pass clear, complete Bastion of Twilight in this gear. So this is pretty much as far as I can get without skipping or doing other stuff. But I will attempt the other encounters in the instance. Could always convert to 10 man and do it that way. Uh, let's see. I think I'll try... Well, if I do heroic on the other encounters, I'm thinking of skipping Thralin and Valiona by putting on my actual gear, but that really wouldn't work for Dungeon Progression Challenge. The rules state that I'm supposed to do the easiest one first. So let me see if I can do that from here. Yes, okay. And I know I'm locked out from the first encounter already, but if I can clear it on Heroic, I can definitely clear it on Normal. So, Bastion Twilight, 10-man Heroic, not doable, but maybe it is on uh, regular difficulty. I have a significantly reduced health pool on Normal. Vision 
Just want to say real quick, I did run Byrod in hold, but I did the whole thing at once rather than doing each boss once I reached that level of gear that drops. So I did get this from Alazizabal, whatever her name is. But I won't use it until, well, I get to this point in gear level. Just to be fair and still following the rules of Dungeon Progression Challenge. Okay, so this is what I'm going into Dragon Soul with. LFR, which is 25 man, no way to change the number of players in that, and 10 man heroic after that. Here's all the gear, take a good look, you can pause the video to take a closer look if you want to. I picked up a lot of new weapons. I checked and double checked the stats on equipping them, and equipping them in the other slots like this to see if I get increase in tech, attack power, damage, or other stats. And so far this is the best pairing I have. Okay, onwards. Uh, ouch. <laughs> what? Oh man, another hard hanging attack. Whose damage is massive, probably split among all targets hit. Is his dad's dead? Yep. So that's not gonna happen. Maybe on ten man uh, heroic, he's got less HP and probably less damage. The damage is also higher on twenty five man, just to balance it out with the higher number of players. So I could be better off in ten man. So even without skipping, I guess. LFR Dragon Souls as far as I can get. So on Hagara, I had a problem on the first attempt, I didn't kill her because I got the storm phase where she was in an immunity bubble and I had to chain two totems with the lightning charge and I couldn't reach because I was just myself, you need lots of players for that. And normally you could wait it out but I couldn't sustain myself. I could have tried it again in the next attempt by uh, making sure my health was topped off as the phase started but I got the ice phase in the second attempt and I managed to take her down there. If I got the storm phase again, I could probably have done it. Oh, what killed me there? Blood of Deathwing killed me for fire. Explodes violently from my veins, inflicting fire damage to me and several other players. That's right. That's one of the heroic things. Thanks to my reduced health pool and dungeon progression challenge. Can't really deal with it. Uh, I think this was it. Blood of Deathwing. Blood of Deathwing explodes, blah blah blah. Yes, I know. Cards through your veins, you can not room quickly, inflicts blah 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 blah. blah. So, alright, when that's applied, I have to make sure to heal up. Whee! That was a fail attempt. You don't want to get sent off. I was trying to think of and do too many things at once.
Ta-da! Spine of Deathwing Solo in crappy gear. Well then, this has been Dungeon Progression Challenge as Fury Warrior. Thanks for watching! If you like this video and the series you like, and if you want to follow along with my Warcraft video stuff, feel free to subscribe as well. Now, in the future, I'm going to do, I guess, class, how to play certain classes in Legion. Because the patch has hit. Hooray! And everybody has all kinds of stuff to learn. And what better way to learn than to let someone else do it for you? This might be an upgrade, but hey, I'm done. I don't need any, any, any other gear. Okay then, till next time, peace well, stay well, and farewell.